Hi Cancer, how's it going? Welcome to my channel, Universal Intuition. My name is Jacqueline. Thank you all so much for being here. Today's video is going to be your mid-October 2019 general reading, again for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, or Cancer Venus. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you always for your continued support on my channel. Likes, shares, subscribes, donations, all those beautiful things. We just hit 100,000 subscribers on my channel. So thank you all, Cancer or Cross watcher for cancer um, I appreciate you all so so much so thank you thank you um, cancer as we always do we'll be doing your love reading as the extended I do it right after this reading I use the crystal vision for that reading it's the first link in the description box you just click there to view your love reading and what we do there is we check in on the other person you're dealing with right now and love romance relationships could be also someone that you're interested in could be a crush um, but we look at that person and see how they're feeling towards you at this time what is that person's long-term intentions for you we look at y'all's mutual energy or shared story what y'all are really going through together and then we look to see where that connection or relationship is headed in the future so potential outcome again if you're interested in that reading it's the love reading it's in the description box below my Instagram is also in the description box cancer if you want to come follow me come say hello I post over there pretty frequently so I'd love for you to come over and say hello but Cancer, let's get into it. What is going on with you? This is mid-October 2019. We are just getting into Scorpio season. So fellow water energy. I'm a Cancer rising. People, Y'all ask me all the time, so I try to remember to say it. I'm a Pisces, sun and moon, but Cancer rising. All right. Three more shuffles. This is for Cancer, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What do we have going on? I'm going to free shuffle. I have a new deck. It's called the Golden Universal Tarot. It's gorgeous. Y'all are about to see. <laughs> Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, mid-October 2019. All right, Six of Swords ended up staying on the table, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the card. It looks like there's something that's improved or something that is improving mentally. Six of Swords is when, you know, we take a vacation, we take a little weekend getaway. I need to clear my head. There's a lot of drama going on right now. There's a lot of chaos, heaviness, emotions, right? Because the Six of Swords is a boat in water and they're coming from heavy water. So something could be very emotional or draining or dramatic or just ugh, right? Like it's been a lot. And the, the advice for you right now, bottom of the deck with this card is the Queen of Cups. This is about you, Cancer, that you need to get in the boat and you need to travel on it. You need to move on. You either need a vacation or you mentally need to get away. You need to clear your head. There's a lot going on around you, a lot of emotions, a lot of overthinking, that sort of thing. I don't think it's like the end of the world kind of stuff, but I definitely feel like for you to make a decision and for you to clear your head, for you to open up and clear your heart, right behind the Queen, we do have the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Cups and the Devil. So there's been a lot going on around you, Cancer, a lot of endings, a lot of worrying, a lot of building up to a big ending here for someone that's maybe been stressing you out. And I feel like all you need is to put those swords down, go with the flow, right? Getting in the water means also going with the flow, something you're very, very good at, Cancer. So this is about improvement. Things are going to definitely feel a lot better, especially mentally here coming into the second or in half in <laughs> end of October. All right, what's your current energy? Current energy for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oh. Yeah, Four of Swords. Really thinking it through. It, whatever you're thinking about right now, you know, these are general readings, so this is going to be different for each and every one of you. We have the King of Swords there, too. You're coming from a very mature place. Some of you are dealing with uh, a very strong intellectual air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and you're needing to really think it through. This could be a business partner, this could be a friend, a family member, could definitely be your partner um, or someone you're interested in and you really need to slow down the mental energy, Cancer, and really think about it. This is about tapping into that spiritual, special place that whenever you um, 
really think about the situation. Know that you're being protected by spirit. He's in a very, um, when I think of the Four of Swords, it, lo it always looks to me like he's in a church, meaning he's protected. He's in a safe place, whether that's in your bed or in your, you know, if you have like a special place where you meditate or if you go to a place to go pray or connect with spirit in a very safe, sanctuary, comfortable type of environment, right? So that's what's needed for you right now is to really think something through and think something through from not a chaotic place, That to think about it from... A very calm place here I want to get one more with the four of swords what is this um, I'm hearing prayer what is this prayer over what is cancer praying for what is this about temperance so for some of you it's about a Sagittarian but overall I feel the essence of I need balance I need balance in my life. I need almost spirit to come in and help me with this because yeah, six of six of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> um, so what's needed here, what you're praying for is universal assistance to come in. Please help me balance these emotions, balance my spiritual energy, balance my physical energy, right? Um, because right behind the six of pentacles we have the ace of cups so there's new love coming in new self-love something great is coming in and spirit is really really telling you cancer to balance everything out don't make any big decisions right now i'm hearing that for you don't sign on the dotted line we're also going into mercury retrograde i don't know if we're fully there yet i know we're at least in the shadow period we're probably fully on there but during this time, Cancer, it's really important for you to call out to your guides. Call out to spirit. Help me with this situation. Um, and also I'm hearing just going with the flow, removing yourself. If something is not panning out or playing out the way that you see fit or the way you thought it would happen, let it go. Detach from it. I'm hearing that for you intuitively to let it go. If, for example, if you're trying to make plans with someone that you're interested in and they're not texting you back in time or they're not, you're not getting the results back the way that you expect, let it go. Go with the flow. Know that there's, I'm hearing divine order here, divine order and divine timing here. And that's also what temperance is about. All right, what else is going on with Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Spirit, what is coming their way mid-October? What is coming towards Cancer mid-October 2019? There's another card here too I haven't looked at, but we got these two that fell all the way on the floor, so definitely your cards. Ten of Swords and the Ten of Cups. Five of Pentacles, okay. So what I'm seeing here, Cancer, is some of you are definitely fearful of being without a person. I don't wanna be without my lover. I don't wanna be without my friend. Some of you, this could be a worry of being, um, that feeling of being left out in the cold, whatever your situation is. I don't wanna lose my job. I don't want, but I think this is really about a person for a lot of you. Yeah, look at that golden opportunity at the bottom of the deck. Cancer, you know, you're realizing that sometimes being in the cold is okay. I feel like this is what you're working on with the temperate showing up here, five of pentacles, and then the ten of swords. It's like you're telling your mental your mental self, your mental energy, you know what, if, if that person didn't invite me to that event, I don't need to take it personally. I don't need to, y'all can't see that, I don't need to add another sword in my mind. I don't need to add another stress, right? I feel like there is healing over this energy which is huge for you right now cancer because that is bringing you your ten of cups right this is all leading to your ten of cups your ten of cups right now is for you to slow down and realize i'm hearing to not take things personally if i didn't get a text from the person i wanted to if i didn't get invited to that event being left out in the cold if i if my coworkers are going out and i didn't get invited to go out to the drink you know what you're better off for it you're saving money and you're not, you know what I mean? Like you're, there's a higher purpose with temperance showing up here, cancer, there is a higher purpose or higher reason why sometimes you do feel left out in the cold, right? Because there's something to heal over that. And I think that you're finally getting that, 
you don't have to be a part of every single thing. I have a huge, I'm just literally seeing FOMO, fear of missing out. Like y'all have a huge fear of missing out maybe in a social social situation uh, with your friends, family members, anything attached to maybe your partner or maybe where, you're, where a crush could be, that sort of thing. I feel like you're like almost chasing that and instead the advice here is to let it go and that it will come to you naturally right because it will bring a major opportunity you never know say for example like you're making plans for the weekend and you're texting and reaching out to x y and z people to make a plan you know what i really want this i'm going to plan this event i'm going to plan this party or i'm going to plan this dinner or whatever all right, I'm gonna get balanced, I'm gonna get ready for it, I'm gonna prepare, oh, I feel left out because no one responded to my text or no one this or that or, or there was another another party, another event going on or something and I wasn't invited, ugh, it makes me feel rejected, that makes me feel awful, that makes me feel terrible, but you know what? It's actually bringing something bigger and better that you don't even see coming, your 10 of cups. But there is, that there is, something going on within you it's like it's like spirit is trying to help open and i'm hearing activate something that you've always had inside of you that you didn't know that you had very interesting all right let's keep going anything else coming in for cancer sun moon rising and venus cancer sun moon rising and venus this is for mid-october whoa all the cards are falling out Yes, we have the Knight of Pentacles, Guardian Angel Energy. We have the Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Proposal. We have the Four of Wands, which is about marriage, proposal, all the beautiful things. We have the Judgment card and the Three of Swords. Wow, beautiful. Cancer, with these two Knights right here, this is definitely, I'm hearing everything's going to be A-OK. -okay. This is your spirit, your guardian angel. Could be an earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn around you. But what I'm seeing here is the energy, the proposal, the love offer that's coming in. Either you're doing it or someone's coming towards you. They're going towards the Ten of Cups. That's where we're going. That's all happening through a very slow energy with the Knight of Pentacles, right? To slow down slow down that energy and if we just let things go with the flow <laughs> you just have nothing but beauty and, and and abundance and success and accomplishment and victory and union all around you knight of wands is behind that there is a lot of passion coming towards you cancer but what i'm feeling is that there's an offer of love coming in a proposal from a pisces cancer scorpio or someone that just loves the crap out of you someone that just absolutely adores you right the knight of the knight of pentacles is under the four of swords so i feel like this is your angels hearing you this is your angels and your guides this is your guardian angel see what i said about the four of swords feeling like you're in a church or when i when i see that that card i feel like this person's praying in a safe space safe place protected place Talking really, really fast because I have so many messages coming in. Sorry, y'all. But they're there. Whenever you pray, if you're laying in bed, sitting on the couch, if you're in your car, they're there. They hear you. They see you. And yes, sometimes it takes a while. That's why patience is here. It takes a while to see the right type of love or the right type of union or the right type of results come to fruition and it's nine times out of ten cancer or really for anyone who's watching nine times out of ten the way that things get carried out in real life the way that they actually happen actually comes from a place so unexpected like things usually work out in a, such a better way if you just let go and go with the flow i feel like there's this huge offer of love coming your way cancer energies can go either way either you could be sending the love a proposal of yes i want to be with you or yes let's be together or whatever that is coming towards you or you're giving it to someone it's going right into the four of wands this is huge this is someone that is super super in love with you coming towards you it's like their guardian angels have also given them the protection and giving them has also given them the power and the motivation to come into union with you 
Four of Wands is two people coming together. We did it. You and a job, you and a partner. We did that challenge. We got through it, man. We got the A. Awesome. Or two people in love coming together. Yes, let's do this. Or yes, let's, you know, take take our relationship to the next level 110%. 110%, that's what that means. And it's coming from the most beautiful, angelic, guided special spiritual place ever in my that's what I see here very very clearly that's why it's okay to wait be patient don't take everything so personal because things are working you know spirit is working behind the scenes to make it make sure everything works out for you they hear you we also next card we have the judgment card the, if this isn't spirit stepping in to clear house for you then I don't know what is and this is under the Ten of Swords, so they really are lifting off a uh, they're lifting a burden off of you. Judgment is graduation day. Judgment is judgment day. Spirit blowing the horn. Hey, enough is enough. We've seen you stress over this enough. We're gonna come in and take over. All right, and it's going right to the Ten of Cups. We also have the Three of Swords. Bottom of the deck is the Knight of Wands. I want to clarify the Three of Swords. Spirit, please clarify the Three of Swords for Cancer. Mid-October. <clears throat> I keep getting like caught up in indigestion or something. I'm getting so many intuitive messages for y'all today, Cancer. So many. Yeah. Yeah, Cancer y'all are gonna make me cry this is so powerful like y'all are getting such a huge reward right now just this, this is such a spiritual um upgrade if you will such a you're really really being highlighted right now you really truly are um clarifying the three of swords which is coming after the judgment card is you stop stop getting in your own way stop getting in your own way cancer Stop getting in your own way. This is major, major healing. This is this is actually a very beautiful energy for you to realize and look back. Because Cancer, you do hold on to old lovers, old exes, old heartbreak, childhood wounds, probably deeper and harder than any other sign. I totally understand and identify with that. But there is a lesson here. Your lesson from spirit is to let go of that fear. Let go of those people. Let go of that energy. It's not helping you any anymore. And what you have right here in your face is the 10 of cups. You have arrived. You already have everything that you need and want it's right here on your doorstep coming to you some of you are already experiencing this energy or this is what is obviously to come by the end of the month going into november bottom of the deck is the three of cups oh my god and the three of pentacles talk about reunion this is so hap this is such happy beautiful successful energy three of cups is celebration calling my friends calling my family members let's celebrate i am so excited Proposal, love, union, commitment from the highest source. I know the Knight of Pentacles is not the highest, but this is for it on an individual level. This is your higher selves, your guardian angels looking over the situation with intent for your best and highest good, for you to receive your Ten of Cups. Complete, utter happiness. <laughs> Beautiful. For you to be in celebration over someone that wants to build three of pentacles someone that wants to build with you for the rest of your life someone is around that loves you <laughs> this is such a gorgeous reading cancer oh my gosh and you're getting a little bit of healing over your past at the same time ah oh, gorgeous all right cancer i'm gonna go ahead and leave it there congratulations lots of healing lots of moving on from fear of rejection or just fear in general really allowing spirit to come in help you go with the flow to really really rise up and receive some beautiful blessings this month so congratulations to you cancer um we're gonna jump into the love reading and see how 
<coughs> excuse me, see how this other person is feeling towards you. If you wanna join, the link is just downstairs in the description box below. It's the first link um, and that's your love reading. But if this is where we part, I love y'all so much, Cancer. Um, thank you for your continued support on my channel. Thank you for subscribing, liking, uh, sharing, donating, all the beautiful things. Love y'all. Bye.